Well, after Hollow Knight, I figure I'll do this one as well. Hello, everybody who's actually watching this, and welcome to. Uh, I'll just skip this real fast. And welcome to a small series that I basically do now, I guess. No, that's just I did the first one on Hollow Knight. Welcome to my opinion of Celeste. Now, if you don't know what this sort of video is, it's basically a video series where I go through a game that I played before. And I will, well, once I label it completed or done, in the sake of YouTube at least, I'll go ahead and only talk about my opinions on said game. I sh I'm actually going to turn to the map, actually. Because I'd rather do chapter one for this. Because I'm not going to be doing anything major. I'm actually just going to be doing nothing but more than talking. So... In the aspects of Celeste that I find interesting or peculiar as it is, excuse me, something in my eye. Ah, there we go. Celeste is, was a good game. Despite how angry I possibly sounded by the end of the actual playthrough, I thought it was a fun game. Obviously, well worth the time, well worth the money that was spent in order to get it. And if you enjoyed challenges, didn't pick it up. It's, it's really worth the time. However, um, in case it wasn't obvious, I obviously had frust frustrations when I was playing through it for... Oh, jeez, for the Let's Play. And that should be expected. This is a difficult game, and... Apparently, I didn't partake in what the game wanted me to do. Because, if you don't know, um... The main symbolism behind Celeste is that it's meant to be a game that encourages you to ask for help. Which is why assist mode is there. It's for if you don't think you can beat the game normally and you need some grade of assistance. I didn't use it if you watch the five hour long video of the finale to this game, so to say. And the reason for it being because I wanted to feel the challenge. I wanted to beat the game the way I, I personally believe it was intended to be beaten. Which is why I did it the way that I did. Which was without using the assist. I beat the game start to finish without using any assistance at all. It was all over my own level of skill. And don't, and don't get me wrong, I am proud of that accomplishment as it is. I just think that the challenge of the what could basically describe as the end game was far greater than you should expect Celeste to go. Which is kind of fair if you think of it from a storyline perspective. Because I think at that point she was trying to get over the loss of Granny. So to speak. And I want I kinda just beat that whole level one go, didn't I? Well to be fair I did do practice with the Golden strawberry, so that's why I was able to do that. But um, overall, I feel like this game's difficulty and its difficulty spikes are well deserved for the game that it is. It is a platformer, it is a difficult platformer, and that's meant to be the point. It's not meant to be a game that you can just think, oh, I can probably do this in a day or so. It's like it has a genuine challenge. And sometimes I feel like the challenges were whoa. Whoops. I, sometimes I think that the challenges were a bit much for what it was at the time that it was... That it, but that by the time you got to the end of it. Because the ending, if you don't know, was only supposed to be like up to chapter 8. There wasn't even supposed to be a chapter 9. That was just extra... Whoops. That's how long it's been since I played this. Goddamn. But chapter 9 was its own challenge because they wanted to make something even harder for the last bit of story reasons. And while I did appreciate the challenge of Chapter 9, I feel like it is a lot for most people to want to take in. But I did appreciate the challenge nonetheless. Don't get me wrong, I was obviously frustrated and angry at some points because it took like two days for me to actually do all of it. But I still did it nonetheless. This game's controls is extremely tight. It's to the point where you can do like some freakishly perfect tricks, and I think that's phenomenal. 
And obviously this game is like sort of designed to be um has speedrunners play it for obvious reasons. Whoa, I didn't think that's gonna work. But overall, I think that the game had like the perfect balance of beginner um influence and a general overall positive uh, like like a uh, feedback of what needed to be polished up for our controls. Because despite everything, like this game, despite being the kind of platform that it is being exceedingly difficult, handles really tightly. Like all the controls that you can see in game, especially what I'm doing now, is like, like it's all timing, it's all like individual, like placement. And that's why I think a lot of the game shines is kind of like the general. Oops, the general spikes in difficulty, but obviously, oh, I think, huh? I didn't like to do it that way. But obviously, a lot of people who know this kind kind of game can definitely, excuse me, can definitely understand how to play this. I just think it's in at points it's a tip bit too hard for people who just want to play a platformer. And despite everything I find like I like I like kinda of bullshit about this game, I overall appreciate what it's trying to do. Oh, okay, I gotta go left from there. Being that this is a game that's meant to be designed to, to get you used to the idea of asking for help. Which is kinda of like meant to be the symbolism behind the whole game itself. And that honestly is kind of a of a nice story to tell. Even if the story at times was extremely limited. And am I gonna go on record and say this is a perfect game? No. It's very hard to find something you play and recognize as a perfect game. But Celeste is definitely well designed for a platformer. You'll never not hear me say that Celeste is a bad game. It is an amazing game, and honestly, if you can afford it, and if you have the patience to play for everything that's worth, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Again, it's difficult at times, but that's not really the point. The whole point of the game is that it's meant to be hard as hell. Which I'm okay with. Is that I can understand why someone who's probably never, not used to these level of... Precision would not enjoy it. And overall, if you can kind of like connect with the story or like uh, Madeline's um, anxiety, her depression and all that jazz, then you could definitely resonate with her as a character and understand why she thinks so low of herself and needs help. But she doesn't want help. It's like we could go back we can go back to this and then we can just spawn a system mode. A system mode allows you to modify the game's rules to fit your specific needs. This includes options such as slowing the game speed, granting some invincibility or infinite stamina, and skipping chapters entirely. Celeste is intended to be a challenging and rewarding experience. If the default game proves inaccessible to you, we hope that you'll find that experience with a system mode. And I never did this because I didn't want to. I didn't want to use assist mode because I wanted to experience a challenge, which is why I played as it was. You can go ahead and do assist mode, and what they give you is like um, a lot of options. But I don't know what the options are for assist mode because I never played it with it before. Oh, assist options, okay. Game speed, yeah, you can slow the game down by 50%. Oh, for extreme precision, I see. And the main point of a system is like it's meant to be like, hey, if the game's too hard, you can change the, the settings and make it easier. Hell, you can use infinite stamina, so once we get to the to the first chapter, we can just show it off how it works. And if you wanted to, you could play it like this if you wanted to, but I don't but I personally don't find the uh, personal value of playing with uh, 
like without assist mode, or with assist mode, I guess I should say. But overall, like I said, this game is great. If you can resonate with the story, then that's perfectly fine. Also, apparently you can just skip to the next chapter. And I agreed, I found the challenge to be well worth the the, the time. Oh, you have to like crown assist infinite stamina infinite dashes infinite oh, okay yeah, you can just do it like that, okay. Yeah, it's like if you want you can just play it like this. And the game will likely not like fault you for it. If you think the game's too hard, you can just do stuff like this. Where you can say say I can't I can't play the game normally, I can only play it like with like such a speaking assist. Cause I think you can also Oh, I guess that's something I can also do. Cause I never did this yet. Let's restart the chapter. Because I know this thing you could do in this game, and it's apparently an achievement called One Up, which requires you to do stuff like this, where you have to like collect as much strawberries as possible. But you apparently you can also just do this. I don't know how many strawberries you need to be able to do this, so I'm just gonna not gamble on this. Just gonna fuck. Let's just try to grab as much as I can, really. Because apparently, this is a well regarded achievement for what it was. And again, if you know the speedrun tech in this game, then, you know, you kind of just bogart most of the game's rules at that point. But not the, but not the point I'm trying to get across here. This game is challenging and it's rewarding for what it is. And I will never say that because this game is not worth the time. It is well worth the money, honestly. I just particularly enjoyed it because I know it was going to be a challenge and I wanted that from... Well, most games really, I feel like I don't get enough challenge. Especially once I first start figuring it out, but I, there are just some games I just don't enjoy. Damn it, I keep doing that. <laughs> oh well, screw it. I'm not gonna bother. I thought it was funny for what it was, but I'm not I'm just gonna be done with that. But anyway. Um overall, my personal thoughts on this game are it is a great game. It doesn't necessarily convey that it's as it's it's kind of to encourage you to ask for help. But that's just my vibe, but that's because I'm not used to asking for help, period. Or whenever I do, I'm used to being denied. So that's why I'm like, whatever. I'll just let the punches flow, I guess. But this game is fantastic. I think it's, it's a, it is a worthy buy. And if you overall enjoyed the challenge, then definitely pick it up. The game is really hard as it is. And it's actually really fun once you start getting the hang of it. And again, I may have been frustrated in the past, but I've let go of that. I'm not going to be as angry as I ever try to pick this up again. Ugh, excuse me. Ugh. Because I know how the game works. And honestly, at some point when you're playing this game, you kind of figure most of it out. But um, overall, if you, I would recommend this game if, if you never bought it. The link's going to be down in the description below. And this is going to be a standard series that I do where once I'm done a game on YouTube, I'm going to make a video that's just called my opinions on blank. Just so I can have it be like, here's my, what I think about the game. The game does get crazy difficult at times. Yes, but that's kind of the point. It's kind of meant to be like the impossible climb, really. But I think I've prouded on enough about this game. Um, if you feel like showing up for anything else that I do throughout the week, I do five of uh, five, four videos a week. Only sometimes do I upload on Sundays, but I'll use it for bonus videos only. And maybe stuff like this, because I may just keep doing these a day once I'm done the series. But if you feel like showing anything else I do, that would be appreciated. But if you don't think I'm entertaining or think I work the time, then 
That's fine too. It doesn't matter to me at all. I just want to use this platform as a method to play video games. So if you feel like showing anything else I do, you can do the usual stuff that YouTube tells you to do, but it doesn't matter to me. I'll be here anytime you need, anytime you hear the show up. I'll see you guys anytime you show up if you feel like I'm worth the time. Later.